This is my trip to Bowers Museum on June 16th of 2021. It was an exhibit called Inside the Walt Disney Archives, celebrating 50 years of the archives. The Walt Disney Company started in 1923 by Walt Disney when he arrived in Hollywood. And then almost 50 years after Walt Disney Studios began, Walt's brother Roy Disney established the Walt Disney Archives at the studio in Burbank. With more than 13,000 boxes of documents and merchandise items, a library of 20 million photographs, more than 12,000 cataloged books, and seventh and several thousand historic props and costume pieces. The Walt Disney Archives officially began on June 22nd of 1970. This exhibit featured so many exciting items, including this facility of the concept drawing of Disneyland by Herb Ryman. That's what originally sold Disneyland to investors. They also had this recreation of an animator's desk to look like where they used to animate all the cartoons. Speaking of cartoons, they had the Brave Little Taylor story script pages which was cool and also the story script pages from Steamboat Willie which I can't even believe that we saw. I didn't realize we were going to see so much historic animation which is one of my favorite things so that was really exciting to see. We also saw one of the coolest items which was the snow globe from Mary Poppins which you can see here. That was one of the earliest historic film props incorporated into the archives, which is so cool. And I am a huge Mary Poppins fan, so that was really exciting. There was a lot of things from the archive of the Walt Disney Archives, which was really cool to see. Some brochures and things from when the archive first started, which we are so lucky that it did. So we get to see all of these historical artifacts. There was also a signed Lady and the Tramp book signed by Walt Disney. And one of the other really cool things I saw was the Western Union telegram right there that Walt sent Roy after losing Oswald the Lucky Rabbit from the train ride where he actually invented and first drew Mickey Mouse, who was originally Mortimer Mouse. There was also some more things from the Burbank studio, including some of the menus that they used to have and visitor passes, just so much cool stuff from back in the day. Like how cool is this keep doors closed sign? That's super cool to see. There were also some of the first Mickey Mouse dolls that were ever created and Minnie, of course. These were created by Charlotte Clark in 1930 and she also created this Mickey and this Goofy, which was really cool to see like some of the first merch that brought us where we are now. There was also the Mickey Mouse watch, which was awesome to see, and this Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs traveling case. I would love that right now. I want to use that right now. <laughs> there was also more Mary Poppins stuff, which was super exciting because I'm a big Mary Poppins fangirl, including these blocks and also the super famous Mary Poppins carpet bag. I would love to have that i want a recreation and it was so exciting to see it in person there was also some disney theme park tickets including one from disneyland taken from 1955 and some from all of the other parks and there were also some cast member name badges from all the parks which was also exciting to see because you know those are super iconic to me the, and this is Engineer Mickey Mouse. He was used by Walt Disney on opening day. You may have seen a lot of photos of Walt Disney holding him on opening day. He's super famous. And then here's the megaphone used by Walt Disney for the laughograms. And here is actually Lincoln's head. <laughs> That's just Lincoln's head. There is just a jump scare of Lincoln's head in the Walt Disney Archives. I don't want to see that late at night. <laughs> Here's a reference costume for Pinocchio. How cute is that? And then here is a um, original cell from Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color right there. How amazing is that? I loved to see that. And coming up, prepare yourself is kind of the whole reason I went to the archives or like the main reason I was excited. These are the prop books from the original opening titles of all of my favorite movies, Snow White, Cinderella, 
and Sleeping Beauty. Uh, we came back to the archives twice. We probably should have come back more because I was just so excited to see these. I've seen these so many times in the movies. I couldn't believe I've seen them in real life. I don't think I've ever been happier before, and I don't think I've ever been happier since this moment. This was it for me. The Sleeping Beauty one was gorgeous. It was jewelly and sparkly. The Cinderella one was also just amazing looking. It's just so cool to see something like this in real life that you've seen so many times on the screen. And then the Snow White one is very special to me because Snow White was my favorite movie all during the COVID time. So to see Snow White, again, amazing. Here is a facility of a letter from Walt to Disney. There was also just a ton of art on the walls. So many things to see. Here is the Alice Comedies contract, something that kind of started us all and brought us all to where we are now. And there was even more amazing art to see. There's just art everywhere. Obviously, I mean, it's the Walt Disney Archives. There's going to be a lot of art, including a lot of things from the parks, like this amazing window display that was originally from the parks. I love the Evil Queen, so it was really nice to see her here today. There were posters all from the parks, and Captain Rex from Star Tour is one of my favorites. He is amazing, and he's now in galaxy's edge as dj rex but here is here he is from 1987 there were also a ton of costumes which is one of my favorite things i love costumes specifically from movies and here were some from mary poppins returns which is one of my favorite movies right now because i'm in my mary poppins era now and forever always and then there were also some Haunted Mansion tombs. These were actually from the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World from 1971. Super amazing. It's always exciting to see Haunted Mansion stuff up close because you are normally seeing it from far away and or in the dark. So it's always exciting to see them. And the Haunted Mansion has really become one of my favorite rides kind of recently because I'm actually kind of a Pirates girl, but the Haunted Mansion has really hit close to home recently. And here is the Dharma Initiative computer from Lost. If you're a Lost fan like me, that was super exciting to see. There were also a ton of live action props, including ones from Alice Through the Looking Glass and Enchanted, which I love Enchanted. Speaking of another phase I'm in, Enchanted and Disenchanted, those are my super crazy movies that I'm into right now. And there was also a live action reference to Roger Rabbit. And if you know anything about me, that rabbit is my lucky rabbit. So it's always exciting to see him. There was a Winnie the Pooh live action reference stand in from the movie Christopher Robin. He was so cute. Who doesn't love Pooh Bear? And then there was the electromagnetic shrinking machine from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which is a movie that I watched so much when I was little. It was just crazy to see that in real life and here was a really cool pride rock art development model from the 2019 version of lion king here are some more animation cells that i really wish i could touch but i obviously can't touch them and then coming up is one of the other most exciting things to see, which was the tw the chimney sweep broom head from Mary Poppins. This is another one of those props that was on the prop culture show on Disney+. Plus. And here is another one from the show, the Tron costume. And even more costumes. Another one of my favorites, Maleficent, obviously. We love her so much. And then here is what my mom was really excited to see. This is Lady's Collar from the 2019 version of Lady and the Tramp. She loves that movie, and I think she was one of the biggest fangirls of this collar. It is really cute, though, and I also like that they had kind of these random things that are more recent. They had a recreation of the Walt Disney Studios building that's famously held up by the Seven Dwarfs, so I had to get a photo in front of that. There were also these recreations of the handprints of the Disney legends that they have at the actual studios, and these were really cool to see and kind of fun to like find your favorite legend, although I was humbled because I saw my favorite, Julie Andrews, and realized she probably has a much cuter hand than me. And that was the end of our trip, getting to see so many amazing things from the Walt Disney Archives. 
I was really excited about this exhibit and I wish it was still here. It was definitely one of the best ones we've ever seen. I was so excited to see those prop books from Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty. That was definitely my favorite thing. My mom's favorite thing was the Lady Caller from Lady and the Tramp live action. So thank you so much for joining us. If you like this video, please like it. If you'd like to see more Disney videos, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you real soon.